Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will tell you which is better, Jetpack Compose or XML. Jetpack Compose is important because it's a new way of building modern UI in Android. It allows us to build our screens in a declarative approach writing less code. Android UI development is now more powerful and more decoupled. As we know, before Jetpack Compose, we were using XML layouts to build the native UI. We were having a dependent structure when we build the screens with XML. Jetpack Compose allows us to build the same UI with a declarative UI approach and with less code. I will tell you the reasons why we should use Jetpack Compose. It's easy than XML. Declarative UI is cleaner and readable. Compose allows us to do more with less code as compared to XML. Compose is compatible with all your existing code. You can call Compose code from views and views from Compose. Also, it is integrated with many Jetpack libraries. Compose improves your build time and APK size. It increases the reusability of the views. Let's discuss Jetpack Compose design. It is composition, recomposition and state management. Each composable has a initial composition. Initial compositions run only when we see a view at first time in the screen. Composables can hold a state and rerun on the state changes. This is called recomposition. Jetpack Compose is improving day by day. Android developers should start learning Jetpack Compose as soon as possible. I am going to share four main reasons why should you start using Jetpack Compose in your Android project. The very first one is production ready. Compose is ready for production. Companies like Twitter, Play Store are already using Compose. It has been more than one year since Compose reached version 1.0. There are no major bugs or unnecessary troubleshooting in the Jetpack Compose. The APIs are stable and consistent now. There is no performance issue. Your user interface will render smoothly. The second one is simplicity. Suppose you want to build a vertical UI with number of views. Then in XML file, you have to write a number of lines of code in XML file. For example, you have to write a linear layout, then its height, width, orientation, then a text view. Suppose you want to add a added text, then you have to write added text. Then suppose you want to add an image view, then you have to write a number of lines for image views as well. In short, you have to write 30 to 40 lines to create this UI. But with the help of Jetpack Compose, you just need to add a function which will have hardly 4 to 5 lines to achieve the same UI as XML. The simpler the code, the easier it is to learn or to teach it. The next one is familiarity. If you have learned declarative UI from other platforms, you will learn Compose quickly. Code styles look same as we are using to build the UI for cross-platform languages like Flutter and React Native. By using Compose, you have learned a concept that can be applied to other platforms as well. The next one is support. Learning new technology can be difficult at first, no matter how good it is. So we need constant support to learn and develop the new skill. When you are stuck, Compose has already many resources that can help you. From official Android documentation, you can have a great support from Stack Overflow, Code Labs and official Compose app samples. You don't need to worry about integration with popular libraries like ViewModel navigation, glide, and coin is compatible with your Compose code. Compose is still actively supported by Google, so even if you find a bug 
or a feature request you can expect its addressed in next version so in conclusion compose is a safe choice for developers who are just starting with the android development while xml is still dominant in the legacy projects compose is the modern toolkit for the building native android ui so if you want to learn it then just start with the demo project you will enjoy it i hope this video will help you